This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today we are going to be updating uh, the Anti Laser Priorities uh, CPU to hardware version 4. This is a black box. Uh, the current one that's in the car is a gray one, which I'll show you when I get that out. But uh, this uh, is a needed upgrade um, if you want to continue to be able to install firmware in your, your device. Uh, you need the latest version because uh, CPUs that are older than five years old will no longer be supported by the manufacturer. So this is a very important update. If your existing system does not have a, um, a GPS antenna, you're going to need to get that GPS antenna. Uh, but those are all options uh, that you can go through uh, Tom over at ALP USA uh, And I'll provide a link is doing a trade-in program So you actually have 30 days to get in your old device uh, And then you will be credited back for the unit that you turn in the old one So make sure that you do that and uh, you'll be able to save yourself a good amount of money But anyways, let's go into the car uh, let's uh, take out the old unit, plug this one in, and then we'll go through all the necessary steps to make sure that all the firmware is updated. All right, so my unit is actually hidden behind the carpet in the uh, floor well here. So I'm going to get out the old unit and uh, then I'll put in the new and one. And here's the old unit. So I am just going to plug things back in exactly where they were plugged in. And uh, we'll get the new unit in and then update the firmware. Okay, so we have the old brain out. New brain is in and installed. So I'm just going to tuck this back behind the carpet. And uh, now we're going to update the firmware. So at this point, you're going to go to alpupdate.com. Uh, just go through the terms of use. Um, and then at that point, uh, you're going to want to do the firmware upgrade. So you're just going to click on that. And then at that point, uh, you're going to enter in your serial number on your control box. And that's going to generate the firmware update that you need to run. And then at that point, you can just load it onto a USB drive and you're good to go. So I'm going to update my firmware now. I have the uh, the new firmware on here for the uh, the unit. And what I like to do is uh, just keep the firmware on the device, update the firmware, then I'll go back in the house and then I'll install the configuration file. Uh, that way nothing goes wrong on the install. Now if you do have the Hi-Fi uh, unit with the external speaker, uh, the good news is that that file is actually stored on the um, on the little module itself, not on the in the brain like the uh, the firmware is. So now I'm just going to plug this into my uh, upgrade cable for the ALP, and then I'm going to power it on and get the update going. Okay, so we're plugged in. Let's turn it on. firmware it'll do this probably for a few minutes while it's loading this and then we'll go on to the next steps and memorize sensors all right so at this point we're just going to go into the menu uh, and do the restore default and then we'll install the configuration file once we're set detection. active five six five so we got the latest software Restore defaults and memorize sensors. And we're going to do that. Data stored. Okay. 
And we're going to go back into the menu because I like to double check that all the sensors are seen by the unit. Uh, so we're going to do that. Menu. Parking range. Three. Silent power up. LED mode. Firmware version. Restore defaults and memory. Connected sensors. Yeah, let's see what we are connected to. F3. F2. F1. R2. R1. So it sees all the uh, all the heads, so we're good to go. Menu. So we're gonna power this down now and put in the configuration file. One really quick note: um, if you have an existing configuration file, uh, just make sure that you activate the uh, the GPS because you need GPS to run hardware for. So let's install now. I got my uh, my thumb drive. In there, plugged in, and uh, let's put the configuration files in. Data stored. So just note that uh, the light is going to be yellow, uh, and that's because right now it's not in defense mode. Uh, once you go over your set speed, uh, threshold, which I have this set for 17 miles per hour, the light will turn blue and the system will be good to go. I have full faith in this. Uh, ALP has been awesome to me over the years. Uh, tons of laser saves. So this is like the greatest upgrade in the world because I'll be able to keep the system going at least probably another five years now. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did find this video useful, uh, be sure to give the video a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.